All right, so uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it appears to me that they're waiting on me to finish this. Uh, they all showed up. This is the bus. They all showed up. We were all kind of mingling. And uh, and this is exactly how I remember the scene, too. But he was over here. So I put her here because I wanted it to be clear. And then, for some reason, damn it, I got to give her more cameos in my pictures, man. I can't just put Hollywood somewhere where she can't be seen. I should have had her head right there, but she was she was back there at first. And then she would be like further this way. So I just needed to create space. But uh, he floats up and uh, he can shapeshift to any size. So uh, he was huge, which I've seen uh, numerous times before that the dude grows big. All right. So I was having issues today, uh, questioning things going down. uh you know what I mean? Going down a bunch of lists and questions and trying to figure out like things that I've seen. Uh, you know, what does it mean? You know, where, where am I at now? You know, things that happened over years and years uh, compiling up to this moment. And uh, it created a sense of uncertainty of where I think I'm at with these people and everybody else. And uh, and it's logical. Like everything that I'm thinking in my mind, I am smart as fuck to be thinking, all right? And I'm questioning every detail of every fucking thing, like super meticulous, like what about this, but what about that, but what about this, but what about that? I'm not sure about this, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, I don't know about this and that. So as soon as I get done doing it, I drew all these pictures. And it's the same as that lean that I was going to put on this land here. Uh, she was watching them watching me do it, the paperwork. And then she shows up and says, you know what? Don't even sweat it. They're not going to move on you anymore because they see you're going to lean their whole shit. And they don't want that. And I said, oh, okay. So ever since then, they've been acting kind of decent. But. Uh, as soon as I started questioning things and drew all this stuff out, trying to get my thoughts together as to uh, who I could trust. Like, can I trust any of this stuff? Uh, that's when I first met her right there. She was blue. But, uh, hey, you can show up whenever you want to, right? See what I'm saying? Do I really need to do this first? Like, it was just all kind of stuff like uh, I was questioning. And uh, and I've got every right to do it because if you were me, you'd be questioning that shit too. If you somebody that everybody want to capture, who the fuck could you possibly trust anywhere? You wake up in this world and your ass starts staring into the sun. But if you wasn't supposed to and she didn't want you to, you'd been doing a thousand murals after you started staring in the sun. Your ass would have forgot all about the sun. See what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things. Um uh, if I would be afraid that if they were really together and uh, and uh, she wants me to not find out that she would be evil herself. Then when I was looking in the mirror saying sometimes I feel like I hate myself, all three of them wouldn't have showed up and said, nah, fam, you don't need to feel like that. It made me feel like, man, this guy's got uh, he's really a cool guy, you know, in real life. So uh, the funny thing is, is that when I was going down all this questionnaire and shit, you will not believe what happened. These daywalker people came down the hill and they was like, dad, dad, and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, hell no. Y'all motherfuckers are suspect because y'all was listening and honing in to what I was saying. And I walked over to him and I said, look, I'm done with the rituals, y'all. You coming down here calling me dad because you want to fucking do a ritual. You got Mickey and Minnie in your hand showing that shit to my face. You're doing the same thing as these fake ass uh, wannabe parents did when they were showing me a painting of a woman that was black with high cheekbone with a tear coming down her eye in a photo in a painting. And I said, huh? I said, Pop, what is that? What does that mean? Well, when you grow up, I'll tell you. This motherfucker was really after me. They showed me pictures of her. So they could start acting like assholes afterwards. That's when my life started getting weird with them. When I was a kid, they showed me pictures of her. Uh, the mom 
that is the fake witch mom. Uh, and I don't call these people my parents at all whatsoever. I'm like, fuck you. Get out of my face, you know. Your shills. Uh, she had a, a, a this old school 90s picture illustration uh, of Mickey and Minnie in a pink Cadillac with a bunch of tropical colors on it. That's a popular uh, illustration. You'll see it. It looks like a, the same shit they used to make Captain Crunch boxes back in the 90s. Like real clean graphics and shit. And you'd be like wondering where, how they made it and shit. But uh, yeah, it was one of the, that, 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 uh, that famous p picture of Mickey and Minnie in a pink Cadillac. So uh, she showed that to me when I was a kid. So Anybody that gets shit like that when they're kids, if your your parents ever come to you like, hey, man, here's a Winnie the Pooh doll. What do you think? They're really telling you that your light body is Winnie the Pooh. It's fucked up, but ah, this place is full of light bodies. And then they turned it into uh, cartoons and they said, look, none of this shit's anything, you folks. But we did show it to you. You see what you're really about, right? So it's really hard. All right. So this is what happened when I started having all these doubts and all this stuff. Uh, they come down the hill. Dad, dad. And I said, look, I'm done with your rituals, bro. They became different immediately. They was like, fuck you. And we hate you. They run up the hill, started throwing all my shit out of their trailer into the yard, like just being extremely hateful. And I said, look, man. Uh, I'm like the biggest target in the whole world right now. I think that you would should, uh, you know, show a little sympathy because I should be paranoid to be friends with anybody. These motherfuckers is even more irate, cursing, yelling. Guess what happened next? A big white pickup truck pulls at the bottom of that hill where the drive through is when it drives up into the property. And they sat there and waited. And then it's like they was waiting to uh, be a witness to something. So the girl comes outside with a hammer and goes to the bus like she's going to smash out the windows. And she says, you know what? I'm pretty sure that I'm the owner of this bus anyways. If you get mad and do the same, I'm calling the cops. So I was like, look, that is not your bus. It belongs to her. Get the fucking stepping. I make no accept. So she goes to the bus and starts hitting the metal, which didn't do anything to create no dent. Didn't do nothing. So what I, what I learned real fast is that these, these villains, these people, they create illusions, fake news, everything that to make me think that they are gonna do something, but they don't even do it. And then they want to see if you react so you can be the one that did something. That's why she just hit the side of the bus. Didn't do nothing. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? So uh, I go back into the bus because they throw all my shit out. They're like, you can't come up here no more. I said, well, technically, these these souls here, these vessels are my property until they're 18. So I know I know the laws on that, too. They got fucking pissed. They want to do a ritual on themselves. So I'll cry about it because they got my DNA and I'm supposed to believe that those are my real kids. You understand? Is that these motherfuckers going to try to off they self and do all kind of shit to try to stop me from doing this? So the last thing made me realize is that they showed me the Mickey and Minnie thing. And that's when I was like, look, y'all fucked up because y'all trying to break me off and stop me from being with her. And it makes me think more. This is like some kind of love story that if I get back to uh, if Mickey gets with Minnie, then it might create a true love first kiss or some shit and then uh, a spell will be lifted on the people or something or i don't fucking know i'm just looking and thinking and watching films and and just doing all kind of shit and just studying and i'm studying my ass off and i'm pondering and i'm brainstorming but as soon as they came out the house hateful a fucking white pickup truck out of nowhere Pulls up to the front and I was like, this is the hive mind. All thinking they got me questioning. So now I'm supposed to be looking at them like they bad. And then it immediately made me realize that they were good before I even got into even thinking about making a video about this uh, a questioning things. But uh, it doesn't pertain to you guys. It pertains to me. Because I'm the fucking damn mouse.
Um, if you watch Mousetrap, the game, they show you the whole flat plane ain't nothing but a mousetrap. They just trying to catch Mickey. Every 2,000 years, apparently this motherfucker comes back and everybody wants to capture him. And uh, and uh, regardless if this dude realizes who he is or not, uh, female, male, cow, cat, dog, whatever, it seems like to me that it's like a big-ass game and everyone's running around trying to capture this mouse. So when I started realizing this, I'm looking up at the top like, man, are y'all trying to catch me too? I don't know who to trust. And I say, man, if I fuse myself to this mouse, will will he be less elusive? Will it will he be a solid conduit that you can then grab? Like, what's up with this Mickey? I'm sc- dude, I'm so paranoid. I'm she the only one that I need to be scared of. I don't need to be scared of nobody in here. Except for her motherfucking ass, because she's more powerful than everybody. She can do anything she wants. See what I'm saying? And uh, and I make no except of being hurt or harmed or food or anything. But I know that uh, these contracts, hey, they need to be following them, right? Because aren't they afraid of her? So it's like a lot of stuff that makes me question, like, they ain't following the contracts? Were contracts really just a patsy? To make us think that, uh, you know, you crawl through this rabbit hole your whole life and then you get to the end, then it's useless eaters and nobody figures out that the contracts never matter because they protect her, her, her from looking like a victim or not. So it's like all this shit, bro. But undoubtedly, it's warm around here. So what can you say? So it's like. Stay tuned for part two. This is getting long. I'm going to come back and finish the rest in a second. But uh, but uh, these people tripping on me, man, just because I questioned this. They came out, started freaking out. And I said, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. And they fucking lost their minds. And the pickup truck finally drove off. They all waiting on me to diss them. So is it a smoke screen to protect them or... That they just let the cat out the bag that they thought they 